It's the digital age, high-tech wizardry at your fingertips. Touchscreen remotes, do-it-all cell phones, the internet, online videos, advanced technology designed for the masses, right? Well, that's the idea. Everybody who's involved in the technology field is enormously excited and passionate about pushing the technology to its limit. And when you do that, you typically end up creating an obstacle for one person or another. In fact, much of today's technology threatens to leave some users behind. But Google engineers TV Raman and Ken Herenstein are on a mission to change that. At first, everything was perfect for me. Everything was written, there was no sound. But then with video, people started to depend more on sound. Both men, one deaf, the other blind, share a common vision to make sure everyone stays connected. One of the things that connects us most? Why the cell phone, of course. These days, there are basically many computers with internet, GPS, and much more. But touch screens create accessibility challenges. The problem I started looking at was what does electronic information do for you if you cannot see? So Raman's solution? To create the ice-free Android phone. Android is Google's mobile operating system. Initially, sort of the general wisdom in the world was, if you're blind, you're not going to be able to use a touch screen because you can't see it. The thing is glassy smooth, you can't do anything with it. And uh, so to me, sort of that was an interesting technical challenge to come up with a user interface that would actually work without you looking at it. An important feature is a talking stroke dialer to help navigate. And so this was sort of one of the first things I built so that I could actually use it as a phone. So I use a similar idea for my phone book. Here's my phone book. I do an M. Notice that it jumped to a friend of mine Oh, starting with an M. A mini app announces GPS, time and device info too. Plus integrated touch vibration also helps users navigate. The power that you get by using this thing without looking is quite, quite enormous. It's not just for somebody who's blind. It's really for situations where you don't want to look at the screen. And so that's, as a, from a technology perspective to me, that was very exciting. Project Ice Free just hit the public Android market. Consider it one souped up piece of technology that fits into the palm of your hand. Technology by itself is a tool, and how we use it is up to us. Nearby, engineer Ken Herenstein is using his know-how to improve the web. And yes, this is captioned. Very good, okay. Herenstein is part of a team developing closed caption capabilities for online videos. I'm trying to make captions useful for as many people as possible. Many people think captions, oh, that's for deaf people, but that's not true. Most of the people who use captions are not deaf. Online captioning is fairly new because unlike TV, they're not required by the FCC. Google Video launched its first captioning service back in 2006. Then with Google's acquisition of YouTube, closed captioning for video became much more widespread. Technically, there are some issues that we have to solve, especially on the scale that Google works. But most of the problem is just raising consciousness that there actually is a problem. And captions are good for more than just when the volume's turned down. Take subtitles. Les légendes et les sous-titres sont très utiles pour les personnes comme moi qui ne parlent pas une autre langue. And this nifty trick, you can search videos using specific quotes. So the point of this is to show that okay. captions Good. are for the world. Whatever the technology, both Herenstein and Raman agree, it's come a long way. And when you compare what you can do today as a blind person or as a deaf person, or as someone with some other kind of disability. You compare that with what you could do 10 years ago, it's a huge difference, and that's the positive I look at. And as tech advances, so too do their efforts. Well, I'd like to see every minute of video captioned, of course. But more generally, I would like to see everything on the web accessible to as many people as possible.